being a par three course, playing birdies only, it kind of levels the playing field. 12 handicaps beating PGA Tour players is something that doesn't happen all the time. Holes range from like 60 yards to about 140, and then there's four par fours. It's easy to get on, what can be a little challenging at the other San Diego courses. Uh, quick round, so it's something you can come out, spend three hours with your buddies, have good cash games. We have an outstanding superintendent here. Who, he, he tries to get the greens as good as possible. You'll come down here, they'll be rolling 12. It's more opening to everyone. You, can't, you go to Torrey Pines and you feel like you're playing a U.S. Open golf course. You go to Balboa Park down the road and it's you got to be a really good golfer to play there. Here it just lets anyone out doing their thing. Uh, on a Tuesday you've got former collegiate players that are just out of college got guys in their 50s that throw out the seven, eight birdies um, and any, anything in between. I mean, guys like Jim, you probably talked to him earlier, he can come out here and make eight, nine birdies and just wax everyone no matter how good you are. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, Asian tour guys, European guys that come out here to make one or two birdies and they end up being like the high guy. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. There were some sharks we should watch out uh, There's only one and it's Jim. Oldest guy in the group been doing it for playing out here on the Friday game for 40 years and he's seems like he's cashing a couple hundred bucks every week it's ridiculous he should be banned <laughs> no. no there's some uh, well you know it just depends if the putts go in they go in and sometimes I get on a roll and they go in a lot of times they don't it's all about just a lot of luck and what type of person comes to play here on Tuesday and Friday nights uh, you get some quality golfers. Quality golfers? Quality. quality. Some of the best in town. And it's birdies only, so if you don't make birdie, you pick up. And we have birdie games, two-man games, hole-in-one pot. So if you make a hole-in-one, you get paid half the yardage from everyone. Everyone's here to have a good time, throw around a little cash, um, hope for a hole-in-one, and uh, yeah, run your mouth and hope you back it up with your game.